Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that different political forces backing Ukraine want to push the country towards a negotiated outcome that will achieve their own political and financial ends. However, he also says that there are no plans for negotiations of any sort and that Ukraine will pursue its own goals. А вже ж всім дуже хочеться максимально нас трішечки штовхати в, в, к якомусь результату. Точно не бажаному нами, бо нас не запитували поки що, як ми це бачимо. А бажаному тих чи інших сторін, вони, у них, напевно, є свої зацікавленості. Знов таки різні, як фінансові, так і політичні. Втомленість наростає, люди хочуть якогось результату для себе, а нам з вами потрібен результат для нас. Такої структури щодо вирішення питання цієї війни з результатом позитивним для нас. Authorities on the southern tip of Indonesia's Sumatra Island arrested a Japanese fugitive accused of fraud in Japan in connection with the receipt of a massive amount of COVID-19 subsidies for small businesses in distress. According to the Indonesian police, immigration officers, backed by local police, arrested Mitsuhiro Taniguchi, age 47, late Tuesday evening in Kalirajo village of central Lampung district. Taniguchi was wanted by Japanese police over pandemic subsidy fraud and left Japan for Indonesia in October 2020. He and a group of acquaintances allegedly submitted 1,700 false applications for COVID-19 relief funds. Um. Meanwhile, the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department believes they received subsidies in more than 960 of those applications for an estimated over 900 million yen or around 7.3 million U.S. dollars. No red notice related to Taniguchi's case, but the Indonesian police have taken proactive steps by coordinating with immigration to detect his presence since entering Indonesian territory.